For the Rebel Media, I'm Ezra Levant, standing in the heart of London, outside the Old Bailey, otherwise known as the Central Criminal Courts. There is a crowd of people, even more than an hour after Tommy's hearing was over, at least a thousand people. I've never been in such a crush before. Many chants, you can hear them right now. And I'm pleased to say that a fellow Rebel alumnus, Gavin McInnes, has come to London. Gavin, great to see you. Great to see you, Ezra. It's great to see you, but we are here for an unhappy reason. Our friend Tommy Robinson is in court for, what, the fourth time now just for doing what in America or Canada would be called citizen journalism. Yeah, he's doing his trial twice now for contempt of court. They delayed it. We're in the biggest court of the land, the Old Bailey, where they deal with rapists and murderers. These, focus, 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 focus. I can't stand all these focus, fans. Focus. At least Antifa just punch you and run you know away. What? The fans aren't just fans. They're deeply thoughtful people following Tommy's case. Yes, it is, is a rock star welcome for Tommy, but, but that a rock star's welcome is shallow and fashion-oriented. These people all know the case inside out, Gavin. Good point, good point. They're here for deeper reasons than fashion. Yes, it, it, the, the, the fandom is Beatlemania here. We were almost crushed going into the court, and I, I don't understand what they want out of him, these fans. Like, are they going to squish him to death? My view, he's the last lion. He's the last guy fighting yeah. in the UK. Now, you are of British extraction, but you're really an American-Canadian. Are you? Do you think the, the UK has lost its traditional freedoms? It used to be the mother country when it came to freedom. Magna Carta, uh, jo John Milton. Have we lost that over here? Yes, and I think it's because there's a massive split now in Britain. There's the media class, the middle class, the upper class, and the working class. And the upper class despise the working class with so much vitriol, it's disturbing. You think this is a class thing? You don't think it's a political correct thing? Political correctness is a class thing. It's the upper classes telling the lower classes how to think, how to talk, how to behave. It's all about controlling the working class. Are there no highfalutin uh, folks like Lord Pearson of Rannoch? He's a, a peer in the House of Lords. He supports Tommy, and I guess I've just listed them all. <laughs> yeah, you really have. This has nothing to do with Tommy. It has nothing to do with Islam. It has to do with the upper class's fear of a working class upheaval. Upright. I think you're reducing it a bit, but I'll accept your point of view. I want to I want to say why I think it's important that you're here. First of all, it's nice that I, I, we have another rebel alumnus here. But what's frustrated me is how few mainstream media in North America have covered this. Tucker Carlson interviewed Tommy the night he got out of prison. That was excellent, but that was once for eight minutes. No one else from North America, and I love Breitbart.com. They've got an office in London. I haven't seen Breitbart UK here. I haven't seen The Telegraph, I haven't seen The Spectator. Where are the conservative journalists who, who, should, who should adore or support or at least report on Tommy? Where's everybody else, Gavin? They're the same reason the police won't report on these. They're scared of being seen as racist. Breitbart.com afraid? Uh, you know, a drudge report. I mean, come on, they're not afraid, are they? Or do they just not understand? Well, I think with a lot of American media, it is... Uh, it's just ignorance of what goes on in another country and another part of the world. But with, Maybe with, they're scared because the first time I heard the name Tommy Robinson, uh, I was told he was a racist, I was told he was all these things, and I was nervous because I thought, I don't want to hang out with a guy who's anti semitic I remember my first interview, I said, oh, what, do you say, what do you think of the Jews? And I was scared because of the poisoning the well. The mainstream media poisoned the well, and I had to work hard to get through that before I could discover the real Tommy. Yeah, well, the real Tommy's right there for anyone to see. In fact, he's sitting there talking to anyone who wants to talk to him right now. So I'm worried about that. I'm worried he's going to suffer a physical harm because he's so he's so important, an icon and a man. I am worried some Antifa thug or some Islamist thug is going to put a knife in him. Well, there was a group of Islamist thugs who came to get him with explosives, guns, knives, a letter to the queen. And they were uh, caught because they made a mistake with their rental and they filled out the insurance wrong. That's why they, the police pulled them over. They went to court. The, all those guys are in jail for 30 years. Tommy yelled, God save the queen, after, he was, after they found those guys guilty. It's the same judge today. You know, um, <clears throat> it's funny. Uh, the police today, I have to say, they, they kept the peace, they kept the order, and they escorted Tommy out fairly safely, I think. But... I have to say that the police as an institution, the prisons as an institution, I'm not talking about the rank and file, I'm talking about the brass. I think they want Tommy dead just as much as the hard left and the Islamists. That's why they threw him in a prison where he was in extreme danger. Beyond the shadow of a doubt. I, and I, I always say, to quote NWA, the police's boss. 
It's the apostrophe S boss you got to include in that. The man on the ground, the beat cops, they're not the villains here, but the top brass, that like the, the magistrate who was, who was smirking when he was looking down at, at, at Tommy getting arrested, he was smirking. Well, I don't want to keep you because I know you got your own work to do here, and I. Like, hey, hey, hey! It, listen, this is this is the people. We, I'm we right got, in my ear. Well, look, you're, you're in the middle of a thousand-person rally. It's going to happen. Um, my last question for you: Are you going to go back to America and use your connections and influence and your own podium to take up this case and be a be an advocate for Tommy in the United States? Yes, and I always have been. I think that uh, America does not have a serious Islam problem yet. But if this Britain is a canary in a coal mine and Tommy Robinson is any indication of what we're facing, we need to nip this in the bud. You know? All right, well, I'm going to hold you to that. I expect you to cover every step of Tommy's trial, and I expect you to become a bit of a Tommy maniac. And what I mean by that is someone who won't change his mind and won't change the subject. Which reminds me, uh, the Mets this year are having an incredible season. We like DeGrom is get, headed to the Cy Young Listen, Award. Listen, you have eaten from the fruit of the tree of knowledge. Now that you know what's going on, you have a moral obligation to be an advocate. I'm just saying that. A lot of you Jews start to sound like Moses when you get under pressure. <laughs> that's, an old that's the Old Testament. <laughs> I'm kidding around. Listen, you're one of the good guys, Gavin. You're a little bit prickly when it comes to the people for someone who's poking at the aristocracy for being too fancy pants. You got, well, look at how fancy you are. You're a snappy dresser. I'm becoming a classist today. <laughs> Gavin McGinn's great to see you. Tell our viewers where they can find you. CRTV.com, get off my lawn, CRTV tonight. All right, there you have it. Gavin McInnes, like Tommy Robinson, he is a rascal and an alumnus of the Rebel.media. For all my coverage of the trial, Go to TommyTrial.com. I'm in London reporting on Tommy Robinson's trial because I just don't trust the mainstream media to talk about it honestly. To watch all my videos and to support my independent journalism, please visit TommyTrial.com.